Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something that I've been highly requested to do because everyone's like, oh, your skin looks so nice at the moment. What do you use on your skin? And it is an updated skincare routine as I have changed a lot with what I use. Um, as I now watch Skincare by Hiram, he's kind of taught me a lot of what I'm using is not very good. So this is an updated skincare routine. And I'm just gonna be answering some questions I asked on my Instagram as well. So yeah. My mum got me from TK Maxx, so thanks mum, she got it for my birthday, and dad, but mini mum. <laughs> Basically, this is just pushing my hair back because I have so much hair, it just comes in my face, so I'm just putting it back. Um, first off, I'm just going to quickly wash my hands because I don't want to have dirty hands. I'm doing this. Okay, I'm actually like going to go in with like, some really juicy questions. People are asking um, if I get paid for like social media, and I feel like... People just assume that TikTok pays people. Okay, let me tell you this. You never do actually get paid, unless you're probably really big. I just broke this thing. So, yeah, people always say, like, do you get paid for TikTok? No one I know personally gets paid for TikTok. It's mainly brand deals that you would get paid for. So, if a brand wants to sponsor you, etc., etc. So, I'm going to quickly show you what I'm using. So, I'm using the Lavash Per Se, as you can see. And I'm using the Effectla Gel. Okay, it's all in like French, so I don't really know, but I'm just rubbing this on my face. I normally use a Foreo, I have one in England, but because I'm in Spain, and I forgot to bring it out, so yeah. Actually, I could ask Robin to bring it out, considering she's coming to tomorrow. Um, so one of my sisters is already out here, Georgia, and she's just started YouTube. Well, I don't know when this video is coming out, but she would have started YouTube by now. So I'm so proud of her because she's wanted to do YouTube for like longer than I ever wanted to do it. But she's officially started and I'm literally so proud of her. So congrats Georgia. And also guys, ignore me because I just woke up. Um, but yeah, so my sister just started YouTube. Her YouTube is Who Is G, I think. And I'm just, this is my face. I'm just going to let it like soak in for a minute and then yeah, I'll rub it off. Um... Who inspired you to start social media? Like, who inspired me to start in going into social media? Um, I would say my sister, Robin. She's always been quite in the social media world um, since I was, like, seven, eight, maybe. Um, she's been getting, like, gifted collabs, and I was kind of like, ooh, that sounds fun. But I kind of just done it for fun, and then all of a sudden it just kind of, you know, came up, and then I became social media influencer even though i won't really class myself as one well. but yeah so i think that is the main reason so what i'm doing now guys is we've got some cotton wool pads and i'm just going to take yeah okay that's not done very well right i'm just going to literally rub this off my face um actually i'm going to wet it first and then rub it I'm just get it all off my face. Um, but yeah, so I would say my sister, and Georgia's always wanted to do social media, but she didn't really get into it until I started getting into it. So I would say Robin, definitely. But I also used to watch like Saffron Barker and people like that. And I think because I watched so many, I just thought like that seems like a dream life. Like, I want to do that. So I think that's just the main reason I kind of set off and done it. But I don't really have like a proper reason i started i just kind of done it for fun and didn't realize that i would actually got fun with that of it so i've still got a bit on my face so i'm just gonna rub it off with it a lot of people ask me about um lavish per se being very expensive i would say it is quite expensive for a skincare brand but their care like their products inside are really really good so that's why i recommend it because you're definitely gonna get good skin at the end of it um i mean this is my skin at the moment so it's not the best but not the worst kind of just have bags and freckles everywhere i don't really have any spots which is good but i used to use the garnier skin active um rose petal thingy um but the past few days i've been looking into it and i don't think i'm going to use it anymore just for the fact that i watch a lot of skincare by hiram and he said if there's a lot of fragrance in it then it's not good um and I looked into it and there is so much fragrance in my stuff. So, and it's bad for your skin. So I don't really want to use it as much anymore. 
But now I'm going in with my La Roche Posay Micilia water, but I'm, I'm going to have to just be on the screen because I really can't read this out. So I'm just putting this on my face because I did have makeup on last night, and I mean, there's a bit of makeup on here. As it was my birthday yesterday, um, and I did put some makeup on, so I'm just taking it off. So it's still a little bit on because last night I kind of just rushed it and took it off, but right now I just got most of it off. So yeah, I've got it all off now. That's perfect. So yeah, I just took a bit off with that silly old water. I literally use three things now. It used to be a lot more, which was good but was bad. Um, but yeah, so all I use now is a CeraVe um, moisturising lotion, but I'm going to just let my skin dry for a bit um, and I'm going to answer some more questions. So let's go. Do you wear a fake tan? Yeah, I feel like um, every, not everyone, but a few girls in my school wear fake tan, um, so do I. I don't wear it all the time because this is natural tan. Like I do get quite tan when I'm on holiday, but when it's like December and people have parties, my dresses look bad when I'm pal. So I put a bit of like tan on, so I go a bit more like, tan color, um, just so it's all nice and like, I know I feel more confident with a tan than I don't because when I don't have a tan I just look pow as hell and I hate being pow so yeah okay so whilst I wait it is the morning and I literally just woke up so I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes like this and then curl these arms but I'm not gonna actually put any stuff on them because I put Vaseline on last night I don't know if you can see that <laughs> it's so blurry I'm just gonna brush them up because it still has a bit of Vaseline on, but not too much. And then brush my eyebrows. Everyone always asks about my eyebrows. These are kind of natural, kind of not. So obviously my hair is fully natural, but my mom has dyed my eyebrows since I was like 10. Um, she used to tint them for me because in primary, I used to get some hate because of um, my teeth and my eyebrows, because I have really, really fair eyebrows. You can even see them and my mum didn't want to have to tint my eyebrows that young, but because I basically forced her to, she did. But it wasn't like as dark as they are now. They're just a bit more dark, so you can actually see them. Do you find it weird that people have tons of photos of you on their phone? Okay, now I think about that, it's kind of weird. Um, but I think it's cool. So many young boys and girls that kind of look up to me in a way, um, which I find really cool because I like helping people. And I feel like social media has really helped me put out the fact that I am here for people. And even if I don't know you and you kind of know me, but only through TikTok, then I'll still help you. I don't really care anymore. Like, I used to be so like, I don't want to answer too many DMs because if then I don't answer everyone, people will be annoyed. But I try to go through all my Insta DMs. Like, honestly, my Insta is packed with your DMs. Um, so I do try to get through them all. And I mean, I help so many people, but if I don't answer your DM, it's not personal. Like, I probably just haven't seen it. Um, so you can always resend it, or if not, then I don't know. I'm probably going to see it soon because I do go through and actually see them all, but just not all at the same time. And also, I just <laughs> forgot to say, I'm using the CeraVe Moisturising Lotion, which Skincare by Hiram actually recommended. And this is quite big. I got it yesterday. Bigger than my other one. I have another one, which is kind of small, so a lot bigger. Um, but I really recommend this. It makes my skin always word. I'm looking for hair. Like it makes it so soft, and I love it. So I really recommend. Okay, everyone always says you act really old. You let uh, you act way too old for the age you actually are, or like you dress like you're a 16 year old. I would say my style compared to my friends' styles are very very different. I mean, I don't like revealing that much. Like, I wear crop tops quite a bit, but I don't wear, like, all the time. I kind of wear oversized t-shirts a lot and shorts. So that's not really classed as revealing, I would say, because I'm wearing oversized t-shirts. So you can't literally see anything. Um, but you could say, yeah, I do act older, but I do have two older sisters, which obviously makes me a bit act older because I've been surrounded by them my whole life. So, yeah, I kind of am, kind of not. I'm just brushing my eyebrows because... I like brushing my eyebrows. Um, but yeah, you could say I act older than I am, but really, I act the same, like I act the age I am. You just don't see me off camera. Obviously on camera, I'm quite mature, but off camera I can still have a laugh and I can still be fun. Like people just assume that I'm not fun because I act mature, but I really am like, 
me and my friends have the best time so please don't assume because trust me you don't know me personally you don't you don't know how kiddie i can be so yeah that's just something i wanted to quickly point out and just say um also so now um it's in it's in the morning parents are out my sister's indoors we're just editing youtube and filming youtube videos so i wanted to try this okay so this is a sephora face mask and it's a roll-on so it looks like this and i'm just going to be putting this around my face not too much of it i'm very very skincare freak and sephora i've looked into it because i like looking into my skincare and what i'm using on my face and sephora's skin is like the best stuff like face mask wise well i don't know you could find best stuff but in my opinion from what i've researched i used to use a lot of garnier skin ones they used to make me break out like mental and also um i think i'm allergic to them so it doesn't really help but obviously sephora is quite expensive compared to garnier skin and i love garnier skin i think they're good but fragrance wise not so good i'm gonna get it all over so doesn't look stupid okay so there it is it's all over my face and basically this is the end of this video hope you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye guys